Welcome back to Real Tea with Tea and Potions. Here we bring you the real news with footage and general information members of the public need to know. No fake news. Put the kettle on, make your potion and get ready for a juicy video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can get your organic loose herbal tea and magical tea infusers at www.teaandpotions.co.uk. They taste delicious and boost your immune system at the same time. Hi family, I hope everyone's doing okay. So Isis Wisdom did a mass healing meditation for Kai. She did a live broadcast. But just in case you missed it, I recorded it for you guys. The element is water, so grab something to do with water and get your meditation on. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Stay safe, family. I will not be taking any questions as this is a meditation only. Any questions that you may have, you may place it in the chat. In the actual last comment box that I posted, if you have any questions, that's where you'll post there. If you have comments, that's where you'll post as well, okay? So I'm checking now the comments just to see. Make sure you guys have your water. Okay. Yes, you can use bottled water. We just need water. Bottled water is good, guys. We just need the element of water. Okay? The element of water. Now, if you guys have any incense, any Palo Santo, um, we're not going to burn any kind of sage today because I'm going to be calling down the ancestors and I don't want you chasing the ancestors out of the house. Okay? So we're calling on the ancestors and the spirit guides. Everybody currently on this live at this moment. So you can get in a good position. I need you to bring me some water. That's your water? Or just my water? Thank you, baby. All right. Thank you very much. I'm excited, guys. I'm so excited. I'm so proud to see you guys here. Yes, you can light a candle if you so wish. If that's the way you like to focus, you're more than welcome to light a candle. So here's what you guys are going to need. Okay, I was speaking from a very basic level, just in case people didn't have, you know, other, some of the other things. But it would be nice for you to have a candle. It would be nice for you to have some water. Tonight, we're working with the actual element of water. I'll be doing two more meditations after this. It'll be tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to focus on the wind. And then the following night, it'll be 10 o'clock again, and it'll be the earth. So make sure you have some dirt and make sure you have some stones or rock that you're going to need for that. Okay? The wind, that could be something as simple as... Uh, Maybe a fan or something, like a mini fan or something like that. I feel the feeling of Kai. I say. First, let me get ahead and speak out to Mother Gaia. Mother Gaia, this is your daughter. I ask that you please hear all of our prayers. And I ask that you also hear our meditations as we use our imagination to go in and heal Kai tonight. We ask that you please protect us and guide us as your children. And we are now coming forth, Mother Gaia, to assist you. Thank you, Mama. Calling down the ancestors of everybody on this live. The benevolent paternal and maternal ancestors on both everyone's mother and father's side. We ask you, ancestors, that you please come forth to all of your children that have the most best intention for Kai and healing and of humanity. Those who choose to operate in unity consciousness as witnesses, the most high, both mother and father are currently present overseeing this whole thing. The Orishas are currently present. The Loas are currently present. And all the other deities from all around the world of people that are currently on this live and people who will listen to this live in the future. I ask that you please come and form a circle around your loved ones at this time. 
Some of you guys are going to feel tingly sensations. Some of you guys are going to feel cool sensations. Some of you guys may feel warm sensations, but you're going to feel the presence in your home. Okay? You're going to feel the presence around you. Okay? Let me know if you're feeling anything. Colin J, those are two wrong things for your behind the burner. Dragon blood and sage, honey, when you're dealing with the ancestors. Now you're in chase all your damn protection away. Uh, Carrie Commerce, though, she says she feels chills and cold energy. I say, what do you mean how are you supposed to hear the live? Why are they asking me questions about how are they supposed to hear the live? Admins, please explain to some of these people in the chat room about how to hear the live. No, you're not late. Okay, I got 793 participants on this live right now and counting. Okay, admins. If you guys can hear me, let me know you can hear me. Those are all your benevolent ancestors, and this is the reason why. And for all of y'all that are feeling your ancestors at this time, and you have not set up an ancestral altar, please do not make me put a spiritual whooping, a spiritual foot up your ass. Get your ancestor altar set up because you're feeling your ancestors right now. That is your first line of defense. Now get it together. Okay, you can hear me. Natasha M, if you can't feel anything, but you're definitely crying, that means the presence of your ancestors are around. Okay. Some say you're feeling pressure in your head. Some of you guys are probably getting cleaned off by some of your ancestors. Almighty powerful ancestors, even my ancestors, I ask that you all please come forth and form a circle around myself of protection as I assist these people to help me and help Kai. Make sure you have all your water, make sure you have your candles. Y'all feel your ancestors, see? Your heart, yeah, they feel like that. Your heart be racing, they're, they're messing with your heart space. They wanna let you know they're there. I'm not getting into any questions at this time. Focus on the meditation. I have no questions to answer at this time. Questions will come about after the meditation is done. Okay. Okay, ancestors, I'm going to ask you to please remove any blockages that any of your children may have just lightly so that way their voices are heard. I'm going to speak to the inner child of everyone on this live right now, to the inner child, my beautiful babies. This is Mama. And I want you to help activate the imagination of everybody on this live. Okay, I say. It's okay, you guys are gonna feel like you need to cry. You've gone cold, that's what your ancestors feel like, okay? But now you feel the protection of your ancestors and they're so proud of you. I wanna let you guys know you have a winning team that's overseeing this whole thing. How beautiful that we come together at this time to report a focus on planet Kai and to assist Mother Gaia, the deity of Kai. Okay. All right. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to begin to close your eyes and I want you to start taking nice, long, deep, relaxing breaths. I want you to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And I want you to do this for at least 10 times. You will not stop this breathing, but I want you to do this now. 
I want you to do this. Don't have any expectations in this meditation. That's not what this is about. Right now, you're just relaxing your mind and your body. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth until things get quiet. If you feel yourself wandering off, redirect your focus back to your breath. Okay? In through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Now what I want you to do is as you're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth, I want you to grab your glass of water or your bottle of water. Continue to do your breathing. As you're doing your breathing, I want you to begin to focus on all the areas that have been affected by the chemical spill. The natural waters of the Ohio River and any other waters that, been, that has been harmed. So now I'm gonna put out here a generalized prayer to the Most High, to Gaia, affirmations. To the, whole, to the Most High Mother and Father, I ask you please watch and bless us at this time. I ask that you bring protection over all of us at this time. And I ask that you assist us in healing planet Kai. We ask that your blessings be stowed down upon us at this time for us to have the necessary energy to do what it is that we need to do. As we know our power comes from you all. Ashe. Now, what I want you to do is, I want you to create a vision board, but it's going to be circular in motion. Known as vision board, I want you to begin to start visualizing all the areas that have been affected. All the areas on the planet that have been affected by chemical spills done by evil means and by accident. I want you to focus specifically on the waters and put those visions that you have inside your circular vision board so you can see the damage and it must look like it's in real time. So you'll see the rainbow colored water I want you to look at all the waters. Use your first eye or your imagination to see. And I want you to put all those images inside your white vision board. Continue your breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. I'm calling upon the waters in Ohio that has been affected by the chemical spills. I'm calling upon the waters in Louisiana that has been affected by the chemical spills. I'm calling on the waters in South Carolina, Texas, Arizona, Florida that has been affected by these chemical spills. I'm calling on the waters of areas that have not even been named that's unbeknownst to us. I'm calling on the waters of the rain that travels through the air. I'm calling on all the waters that have been affected by these chemicals. I'm calling upon you at this time. Waters, 
We are here to assist in cleansing you and removing all the chemicals out of the waters. That includes the chemicals that are affecting even the earth inside the waters. Or that the water is sitting on top on. We are here to assist you with our cleansing waters that we have in our hand. And we're going to utilize our imagination and we're going to use these cleansing waters to filter out all the negative stuff that's in the waters and we are going to restore it back on a collective level. Continue your breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Make sure you're in a relaxed state. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you are now going to pick up your water. Speak into your water and tell the water how grateful you are to it. Repeat after me. Water, I am grateful to you. You have sustained my life since I've been born on planet Kai. You have sustained a lot of life on planet Kai. You have replenished my body. You have assisted me in healing. You have assisted me in cleansing. You have assisted me in keeping myself hydrated. You assisted me in keeping my organs to continuously keep running. And for that, I thank you for giving me life. That being said, I'm going to request that these living waters that I'm speaking to right now go to the waters that have been affected by the chemical spills on planet Kai. And I want you to begin to start filtering out and cleaning out all those chemicals. I need you to transmutate this energy of, I mean, this, this, these chemicals and these waters into a different chemical that neutralizes every single thing they've done. And never for these waters to be destroyed again, because it's not theirs to be destroyed. It's not theirs for them to be destroyed. Now begin to visualize your waters as never ending waters coming from your container that you're utilizing. Your water has no bottom to it. Keep your eyes closed. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Your water has no ending. And begin to start visualizing your water expanding, getting wider and fuller and going into all the natural water, water sources that have been affected by these chemical spills all across the United States of America and all over the world and begin to start neutralizing and cleaning and filtering out the waters. Use your imagination. You can imagine your actual water turning into a filter itself and filtering out those waters. You can imagine your waters cleansing all the rocks and stones inside the actual river bottoms where the water sits. You can imagine everything being filtered. Use your imagination to the fullest. As you see your waters, your waters will have a glow. You decide the color that you want your water to be.
May these cleansing waters that are coming from the gods and goddesses and angels and beings that's on this live right now, may the energy of their waters be utilized to filter and cleanse out all of the waters on Kai, neutralize and cleanse, neutralize and cleanse. I'm seeing a lot of different energies hitting these waters. Imagine the water being crystal clear and clean. A crystal clear and clean that it's ever been. The water will be safe for human consumption. It'll be safe for the animals to drink again. We push away all death and sickness and illness out of these waters. Look at these guys working. I see y'all. Start imagining the, I see y'all bringing the grass back to life. You guys are doing some powerful work in this meditation. This is unbelievable. Continue to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And continue to keep filtering out the water and cleansing the waters. There's a lot of powerful energy that has gone toward those waters and various different colors. Now, what you guys want to do is you want to take your connecting energies where your focus is and connect to all the waters. All the waters. Make sure the energy is coming from your heart space. See the energy leaving your heart space and going into those waters. That's connecting to every other water. Utilize your heart space. This is where we add love into the water. I'm getting chills. Now we're going to try something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, everyone that's on that live, what I want you to do is that I want to connect your energy to my heart chakra. 
my heart chakra connects to y'all's heart chakras and y'all's heart chakras connect to everyone else's heart chakras on this live. And we're all going to take our heart chakra energy and focus it on the waters. On my count from five, five, four, three, two, one, boom. Now let's focus on the energy from our heart space and send it toward the water. I'm so very proud of you all who have stayed the course on this meditation. You are greatly loved and appreciated. The meditation is almost complete. Y'all are doing some very good, powerful work. There's a lot of heavy hitters on this meditation tonight. I see y'all. Okay, what I want you guys to do is I want you to begin to start doing a countdown. I want you to begin to start pulling back your energies. Continue your breathing. Return all your energy back to self. Once your energy has returned back to self, what you're going to say is gratitude to the water, gratitude to Mother Gaia and Planet Kai. And we are going to thank her for allowing us to assist her. Gratitude, Gaia. And thank you for allowing us to assist you in healing. We will continue this over the next two nights. Thank you, Mama. I say. Let me see how many people lasted on this live for this meditation. I had a total of 940 participants, and now those 940 participants, 927 remain.
So I want to first say shouts out to the ones who took this serious, who put their heart, their effort, and their energy into healing Kai. We will be meeting here at the same time tomorrow. Well, not the same time. We'll meet here in Telegram, but it'll be at 10 p.m. instead of 11 p.m. for the next two nights. Again, tomorrow is the wind. Someone suggested that we could get feathers for, to represent the wind, which I think is an excellent idea. So if you find a feather from somewhere, get a feather. Okay. Then the following day is going to be the earth. So that's a three-part series. I want you to make your comments and tell me how you're feeling on the inside. Wow. I have tingly sensations everywhere. I'm definitely tingling. At April Macklin, she says a lot of heavy hearts were, were healed. That is true. Your ancestors showed up. They placed protection over you all. You're feeling light. You're crying because you had a connection. You had a chance to connect with the ancestors. You had a chance to connect with the earth. You had a chance to connect with, with Gaia. You had a chance to connect with the water. You had a chance to connect. It feels good, doesn't it? T says, I feel light and a breeze as if I'm sitting by the water. Now, T, you're definitely going to be one of the people that I'm going to be keeping tabs on throughout this process. And I definitely want you to give us any updates. If you notice a change in your area, please give us an update and let us know, okay? We still got more work to do, but just let us know if you notice anything different. Tomorrow we'll be working on the air, okay? And after that, we'll be working on the earth. Definitely electric. You're tingling all over your body. It feels good, don't it? Now, the most important thing here is, oh, you guys are emotional. Crying. You know why you're crying? Because you love Kai. This is your home. And you are remembering who you are. Remember, you have always been the guardians of Kai. I'm just helping you reconnect back to that space again so you don't forget. At Antoine Martin, that was Gaia. That's what she looks like. She has a huge fro. Wow, these comments. I am so grateful to all of you that helped participate in this. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. I so appreciate y'all. It means so much to me. And it means so much to, to Mother Gaia. That was definitely a huge transmutation. You see what unity consciousness gets you? We're going to clear the air next. Who are the original weather controllers? We are. See, now you know that you're no longer helpless. Now you know if we just come together on a collective level, we can do this together. We can do this together, y'all. I see a lot of um, green trees and flowers and all kinds of stuff going on right now. We got some powerful gods and goddesses on here and angels and all types of beings on here tonight. Sheesh. Sheesh. 